the dollar is absolutely about to plummet. It has been plummeting. And in under 10 minutes, I'm going to show you exactly why we are probably going to see and inevitably going to see a huge crypto bull cycle, Bitcoin bull cycle, and why there is officially an inverse correlation between the dollar and Bitcoin and where these instrumental pumps happen. Make sure to like, subscribe, and let's get straight into the video. Thanks for being with me here on the Crypto Bliss channel. Truly appreciate every single last one of you blessed and beautiful beings. I will show you my trades that I'm in at the moment because we are at a fundamental tipping point here in crypto. And I'm going to show you a very similar pattern that is playing out across the board. So let's not waste even another single second. What is going on out there in this wonderful world today? Well, if a trader, and this is 21 of August, okay, this is yesterday's date. If a trader can turn $1,690 into $20 million and the market isn't even moving in six days on Tron-based meme coin Arkham, oh, I can tell you something. There's plenty of money to be made out there in the crypto space here right now, as you can see. With Tether announcing its plans to launch a new stable coin pegged to the UAE's Durham. Ooh, I wonder what this means. Bye bye Petro Dollar a couple of weeks ago, right? And introduction of Tether into a stable coin conversion into the Durham. Wow. Do you think they're going to use oil to pump up Bitcoin and use it as an energy conversion into more Bitcoin? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you are thinking right now. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. For now, the UAE has just asked Tether to please make an AED, the currency of the United Arab Emirates, into a stable coin, which will be a Tether Durham peg stable coin. And so it's cost effective. And why not? Because at the end of the day, Crypto asset will join the firm's arsenal of digital assets, including ones pegged to the euro, euro T, tether, Chinese one, tether, Mexican pesos, tether, and gold, tether. I own some of that gold tether, just by the way. Why would you not when gold has been recently pumping? Although gold did hit a little bit of a rejection, we might have a look at that chart, but maybe not in this video. So at the end of the day, Tether's Durham Peg stablecoin is set to become an essential tool for businesses and individuals looking for secure and efficient means of transacting in the UAE Durham, whether for cross-border payments, trading, or simply diversifying one's digital assets. Now, why is this article so significant? Why is it that I'm showing you? Well, I'm going to give you a few moments to just absorb that, and I'm going to share with you a in a little moment what that is all about. Bitcoin is very close to a monumental breakout, says crypto strategist and trader. Here's his outlook. So, Rick Capital is this individual. And when it comes to breaking out from this reaccumulation phase, we tend to see breakouts here from, 100, from here 160 days after the halving. We're currently around 126 days after the halving. So, that just gives us a month, over a month, before we finally see a potential scenario for breaking out beyond this reaccumulation range. Now, remember that September is generally called red timber. And then we have October, November, December, January, February, absolutely pumping. And then possibly one more sideways ass capitulation for a little while, and then a continuation of the pump. But it's really important not to take these dips for granted. Hence, you can use my link down below, get into some trades with me, hence buying on the dips. Alrighty. But my Baba link will give you up to $30,000 deposit bonus, by the way. But for granted, because we might be running out of those downside deviations. Because we're 126 days after the halving, getting close to that potential historical breakout in September, early October. One or so months left. You can see here how we actually had this interesting move here, and then we had the pump. So about 161 days after the pump, after 
we essentially started our breakout of the previous high and then the rally to the all time high in Bitcoin. With Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency market cap, well, the cryptocurrency market cap sitting at $2.2 trillion today, Bitcoin sitting at $1.2 trillion, Tether is pumping liquidity. It's put $5 billion into the market over the last time we looked at this. And Bitcoin is now sitting at $60,290. $60, Why is this all significant? Because the banana effect hasn't even come yet in crypto. And yet, here, with potential banks that are failing, so I'm going to share with you the 15 most recent bank failures. Of course, Republic Bank being the only bank failure of 2024, which happened in April. All right, the rest of them happened kind of previous. You can see all of them. This is Silicon Valley Bank. Where's Silicon Valley? One of the biggest here. All right, you can see that. And essentially, why does this all matter? Well, first of all, the FDIC, the official government website of the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, bank failures in a brief summary. If you look at the total assets in blue, the bank failures in red. The bank failures kind of go through a little bit of a dip before it goes through a massive pump. We have had this crazy long dip here. And if you notice, long blue total assets in failures, long blue total assets and failures, the assets and failures start to deplete down, but the bank failures go up. However, I'm going to share the key component as to why we're about to see this massive upside and explosion in crypto. And as Michael Saylor says, he'll be buying Bitcoin forever, the top forever, and it will go up forever. I believe that too. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Here is the very reason why I believe, and before I show you that, since I last did this video here for you two weeks ago, all right, in fact, it was here two weeks ago, there has been an estimated $250 billion pumped over in the last two weeks. That means that's $125 billion a week. All right. I just want to share something with you. You are now at the end of August. So call it September, October, November, December. That's four months left. Let's just quickly get our calculator out here for the sake of you. So four months, call it an average of four, week, four weeks in each month, gives us, so four times four gives us 16 more weeks times $125 billion a week that is being printed. That's 125. That's 12 and a half. That's 125 billion. That equals $2 trillion to be added to the market before the end of this year. Do you see what it is that I'm saying? And actually, this is unfolding tremendously fast. So I wouldn't be surprised if it's probably closer to $3 trillion. Where the fuck do they get $3 trillion from? Well, guess what? Printers just go brr. All right. So $2 million. But that doesn't mean that we're go that's the very reason why I believe we're not going to see further bank failures. Because since 2009, when there was 140 bank failures, you can see every single year, the bank failures have actually become less and less and less and less and less. To the point where 23 was 5, 22 was 0, 21 was 0, and this year was 1. So we're now kind of sitting at the one level. So maybe if one bank is the kind of full bank for the year, takes the hit, adds to a kind of flatline statistic of one bank failure per year or zero bank failures per year, because they're going to print and they're going to help them. But that removes from your savings. And that is why Bitcoin is the number one asset in the world. And you'd be a fool not to have any Bitcoin. So make sure to use my links down below. Get yourself some Bitcoin. I want to take you right to just very quickly. You can see how gold is rejecting. It's just going to retest the moving averages. Even if it falls all the way back down here, it's just retesting. Let it do its thing. No problem. But this, my friends, this is the USDT dominance. And as we can see here, 
This right here was the peak candle. Okay, the candle ended somewhere over here. This was the peak candle, and we can go and have a look in Bitcoin, the Bitcoin chart right now, as to that exact same date, 18th of June and 18th of June 22, 18th of June 22. Isn't this very interesting to state that, well, while this was the peak of USDT dominance and the fall start of USDT dominance, but yet this was the absolute rise of Bitcoin. You see where I'm getting at. Now you can see that with the fall of USDT, and USDT is possibly looking like, and it's going to print, guys. Make no mistake. It's going to print. You need to know that. So it will sit while it's printing, and then Bitcoin and all crypto starts to gain more liquidity because of the amount that they're printing, like I showed you on CoinGecko, in terms of its market cap. So here's a bottom, here's a bottom, and here's a bottom. It's very likely going to possibly retest here because this is looking a bit like a bear flag, while Bitcoin, while Bitcoin is very clearly actually looking like a bull flag. Isn't that very interesting? So while Bitcoin is above the 200 now, you'd be very surprised that the Dixie and the dollar is now actually below the 200 on this weekly time frame. And we have Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Well, we actually have Friday left on the dollar. So we have one last day. And just if you look at my long-term chart here, this is the downward resistance here. So it broke through here, fake out, pull back in. It's currently pulling back in. And I drew this line for you because you know that I haven't spoken about the dollar for a tremendous amount of time now. Well, not a tremendous amount of time, probably since April. We have seen this follow my pattern. Look at it. It went up. Boom, it's crashed down. It actually didn't even pull back up. But I wouldn't be surprised because it's on a horizontal support level right here. So close below, pull back up. Then that's, that will be the ejection. Okay. And it will meet these resistance levels uh, on the moving averages up here around the exact same. Probably no higher than that 100 at 103. 100 moving average at 103, which tells me that that will be your absolute last chance to get into Bitcoin, okay, before the dollar collapses and Bitcoin rises. With all the money printing, you can see that the dollar potentially has a further 7 to 10% down, okay, to this 89, I think this 89 level, okay, and I think the dollar, once it pulls down here, and it sits here, I think it's going to get stuck trading from here to up here. That's where I think we're going to get stuck in a little bit of a range here. All right. What do you think about that down below? Now, let's get on to the juiciest, juiciest of the charts right here. And that is our very own extended Bitcoin chart. Because every single time, like I've said, 200 and 200 odd days, and you saw what I showed you in from rec capital just now shout out to you rec capital he said about 160 days i've got here an average of 200 days all right right now from there to this level is 284 days from the breakout essentially of the same zone here now was the 200 day level we literally have from today we have approximately 72 days left at the absolute most. So in other words, the end of October 2023, uh, 2024, we will be out of this trading range, breaking through new all-time highs and busting up into the next phase of this bull cycle. There within lies my conviction. What price it goes to? You tell me that, my friend. Leave your comments down below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video. Thanks for being here tonight. And of course, I promise to share you my trades. My Bitcoin trade is up 33%. My Pepe is up 60%. My Dogecoin I got in today is down a little bit by 7%. My Engine trade is up for 60%. My ETH trade, 13%. My Rudin trade is down 4%. My Sand is pretty much equal. 
and my Solana trade is 26%. So those are my trades. Let me know if you're in any trades down below using my links, making money together out there in this wonderful world. Thank you for being here. And the shape that I wanted to share with you that is happening is this very much this strong triangle, um, ascending triangle pattern. So the breakout level for Bitcoin will determine the rest of the bull market on the other coins here. So Bitcoin continues to basically find support here, break through this level up to this next high up here at about 72,000. Well, I've just shown you exactly why that's going to happen. Thanks for being here with me today. Truly appreciate you all. Much love. And we'll see you on the next one. Yes, it's all. Take care and have a lovely evening.